Hey y'all, it's your girl Camille with Cooking with Camille. Well, Happy New Year to the ones I didn't say Happy New Year to. And God bless you. Today we're going to do, um, start the new year out right. We're going to do some meatballs with rice pilaf with mixed vegetables. I'm going to do a little different. I'm going to put my mixed vegetables in the rice pilaf, okay? So, um, let's get this party started. I was going to make some brownies, but I'll wait till later on this week. I'm trying to lose weight, but you know how you just have to have that sweet tooth every now and then? So we got a little sweet left from the holiday, so we'll continue to eat those. Okay, first of all, you're going to need, we're going to use some Italian seasoning today. We're going to use my Chef Carmen's green, oops, this is the wrong one, I got to get another one. Uh, crushed red peppers. We're going to use uh, the onion powder. We're going to use black pepper, garlic salt, and paprika. Let me find out which one. Okay, this is the one I wanted. The Greek season, not greens, the Greek one. This is what I wanted. Okay, you're going to need some mixed vegetables. Uh, you're going to need, we're probably only going to use a half a thing of sausage, pork, however you want it, um, Italian sausage. Um, say sausage, maple sausage, whatever kind you want. Then I got a small pack of hamburger because it's just me and him. That's why it's an only half. You're going to need some sour cream, some chicken base. You're going to need uh, one onion and divide it in half. We're going to put one um, half of an onion in our rice pilaf, the other half in our meatballs. You're going to need a quarter of a pepper. Red, green, yellow, orange, whatever color. I had a red one I want to get rid of, so I use a quarter of that. And you're going to need two cloves of garlic, okay? So now I got my water on boiling for my rice pilaf. Oh, yes, you're going to need a couple, uh, two cups of rice, okay? So while the water is boiling, we're going to get our base going here. Get our chicken base and get your flavor to your liking. So, we're going to put some chicken base in there. I like using the base because you can use as much as you want. I usually use the one that um, what's his name? Um, Bob, um, Bill Bodge usually get me. Uh, he got me all these. The better than it, uh, then bouillons. These are good too. This is vegetable, but I want to use chicken. I, I got to buy some more chicken. One. But this is good because this lasts me almost... Almost six months. Okay, but be careful how you use it. Go a little at a time because you don't want to make it too salty. Just make it enough to get your seasoning, okay? Okay, in the bowl, we're going to add our hamburger. Okay, our hamburger. We're going to add half of our sausage. Half of our sausage, we're going to add our onion to it. One half of our onion. We're going to add our garlic and our red peppers. And save the other onion for our, you know what, I'm going to save some of that red pepper too for our rice pilaf. Okay, then we're just going to mix it together. And uh, so you get it all mixed in. Okay, now we're going to add a teaspoon of my Greek seasoning, or you can use seasoning salt. Okay, seasoning salt. I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of garlic salt because I don't want to use uh, too salty. I'm going to use a half a teaspoon of pepper. I'm just guessing, you know. I pretty much no. I'm going to use a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Onion powder, I mean. <coughs> I'm going to use just a couple of shakes of the crushed red peppers. I don't want to make it too hot. We'll do one more shake. And we're going to add a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Okay, 
Okay, then we're going to add a teaspoon. What do I do with my spoon? Teaspoon, uh, a tablespoon of sour cream. Okay. And then we're just going to mix it all together. Probably said sour cream. Y'all know me. I love putting sour cream in my meat. So we're going to mix that all together. Then you're going to add about a half a teaspoon of paprika. Okay. Now we're going to check our water and see if it's at temperature. Let me uh, wash my spoon off. Oh yeah, y'all, my husband bought me a thermometer. I need to start using it. He bought me a thermometer just so I could check my meat because he know I'll be checking it at work. Oops. Perfect. It's perfect, y'all. Okay, we're going to add a cup and a half of rice. That's one cup. Oh, I knew I was going to make a mess. My finger, my cup got stuck in the pot. And then the half. Okay, and then we're going to, once it gets almost cooking, we're going to add our vegetables. Then go ahead and put your lid on there. Okay, it came to a boil, so we're going to add our vegetables to it. And we're going to add a half a bag of vegetables because it will soak up all the rice. So we're just going to add a half a bag, just like that. And we're going to add some pepper to it. Some pepper to the uh, rice pilaf. Oops, don't want to open that big one because that and then put too much and then stir that in there and then we're going to roll our uh, preheat your oven to 350 we're going to roll our meatballs next and just let that simmer one thing I forgot to add to our meatballs is some breadcrumbs about a half a cup of breadcrumbs and you know what else I forgot to tell you be Russia doing too much. We're gonna add one egg, one egg, just one egg. Okay, then we're gonna mix it together and roll it. And that's all I'm gonna add. Oh, wait, give me a minute. I'm gonna add one more thing. One, just, just, just one more thing. <laughs> we're gonna add, y'all know me, y'all know me. We're gonna add. A half a teaspoon, no, we're going to add a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, okay? Just a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, okay? And our one egg. Oh, you know what I forgot? I always tell everybody to break your egg open in a bowl because you never know if your egg rotten. And I just open it. Then I tell y'all I'm tired. I'm tired from work and I'm just doing everything wrong. But y'all, yeah, always open your egg, break your egg open in a bowl or something so it won't uh, have no shells in it. Plus, if it's red, I don't like nut cooking with red eggs because that means it was a female egg and she was getting ready to have a baby. Okay, so let's mix all this together and then we're going to roll. Okay, that onion and that pepper, we want to make sure we add that to our, um, our rice pilaf. Okay, our meatballs are done. I thought I was going to make 12. It made 17 meatballs, and these are medium meatballs. They turned out good, okay? So let's um, put these in the oven on 350 for about 35 to 40 minutes until they're done. And we're going to let that simmer. Okay, someone's calling me. I wish they quit calling me between four and six. We're going to let it cook for about 25 to 30 minutes. Then we'll check it because they're 
Not real big meatballs. I was going to make big meatballs, but they're not. So while they're cooking, I'm going to clean my kitchen. How about that? Okay, let's check our rice. Oh, it's coming along. Look, it's thickening up. And our meatballs is about to come out. Let's check on them too. Let me get my thermometer. Y'all you know, look at my husband bought me a thermometer. I'm so happy. I just calibrated. Okay, I'm going to let it set for five more minutes. It was 160. Ground beef should be 165. So I'm going to let it set for five more minutes. Okay, I was going to make some gravy to go over the meatballs, but I think I'm not. I'm just going to leave them just like a little meatloaf with a little sauce on them. Make a little sauce to go over them, but I think I'll just leave them plain. So we'll be back. It should be ready in about eight minutes. I mean, not eight minutes. About four minutes. Look, y'all. Don't that look good? Look at them peppers sticking out of them. So let's serve the plate. Turn the oven off. Okay, y'all. This is what it looks like when it comes. Oops, almost fell. See, look at that. Look how nice that look. All right, let's plate up the plate before I tear up everything. I'm so sleepy. Okay, here's the finishing touch. Try to pick it up without dropping it. Rice pilaf with meatballs with some Parmesan cheese on top with a little tang of barbecue. I made a, well, not barbecue, it's barbecue and some honey and some um, honey and um, K-Rose syrup mixed together to make it like a little meatloaf sauce and a nice organic salad. Okay, y'all, look at that. Look nice. Thank you. Pretty colors. Okay, wait a minute. I'm saying thank you. Listen, please like, share, subscribe. Go to my YouTube page. Make sure you comment in order to win a prize for the month of January. Okay, uh, David Ruffin, I'm still waiting on your address. You got till tomorrow to give me your address. Come on, give me your address so I can send it to you. Send it to me on my um, messenger or have your mom call and give it to me. Okay, everybody, y'all have a blessed day. Happy New Year again. And here we go. Rice pilaf. Look at those vegetables. Mixed vegetables with meatballs, with a sauce, with Parmesan cheese, and a nice organic salad. Okay. Bye-bye.